I grew up in, uh, you know, as a white Australian, uh, I guess I was luckier than most in that I guess I learnt a little bit more about the, the real history of this country, you know, earlier than, than many and were exposed to, uh, you know, lots of different cultures and to a lot of Aboriginal people. So um, I guess I grew up with a sense of guilt about, you know, where I was positioned in society and the, you know, loss of land and culture and language and all the other sorts of, um, you know, horrors that have been um, meted out to Aboriginal people um, over the years. Um, so I guess there was an assumption often when I visited, I visited Aboriginal communities from a very early age and I was often very nervous because my assumption was often that people were going to be really pissed off at me, that there was going to be a lot of resentment, a lot of anger and a lot of dislike of me simply because I was white. And look, you know, I've had, you know, maybe, you know, a dozen or so instances over the years. It's generally been with people who've been, you know, charged up, like drunk at the time and you know, would be prepared to lash out at anyone. But the thing that is most, um, I guess, interesting and fascinating is, for me, is the complete lack of that experience that I've, that I've had in general, you know. Um, an enormous amount of goodwill towards white people, a, a, a real um, unwillingness to, um, for Aboriginal people to, uh, you know, um, simply respond to white racism by, um, by, you know, by engaging in some fairly, um, you know, disparaging views of, or comments about white people in general. So, as a rule, no, I haven't been and I've, you know, I've worked in some pretty rough places where there would be lots of reasons for, uh, you know, some of the black people I've worked with to, to be angry about white fellows, um, but very little have I experienced.